Hello, in our lesson today, let us discuss the relation between Galilean transformation and Newton's laws of motion. We will show that Newton's laws of motion, first law, second law and third law, these three laws are invariant under Galilean transformation. The word invariance means that if Newton's laws hold in one reference frame then it will also hold in a second reference frame which is moving with a uniform speed that is constant speed with respect to the first frame that means suppose we have two observers and these two observers are moving from moving away from each other with the velocity v which is constant with a constant velocity then if um, for observer 1 Newton's laws are true then uh, Newton's laws will also be true for the second observer who is moving at a constant speed with respect to the first observer so to mathematically recast this problem we have to consider two different reference frames two Cartesian frames one is unprimed frame x y z another is a primed frame x dash y dash z dash and the origin of the primed frame is moving uh, with respect to the origin of the unprimed frame with the constant velocity v along the common x axis that is along the common x and x prime axis. This is a general situation because one can choose um, the coordinate system in such a way that the x axis coincides with the direction of the velocity v. Then suppose we have a point p and uh, we describe this point p in two different coordinate systems. So on primed coordinate system the coordinates are x, y, z and in primed coordinate system the coordinates are x dash, y dash, z dash and t dash is always equal to t because in Galilean transformations time is a parameter. It's unlike Lorentz transformations where t is a coordinate in a four dimension space and there um, t dash and t are different but here in Galilean transformation time is not a coordinate that means we are not discussing events we are discussing points in space and uh, so here time is a parameter so t dash is always equal to t now the relation between x dash y dash z dash and x y z is very simple x dash equal to x minus vt y dash equal to y z dash equal to z and this is uh, the Galilean transformation so this is a coordinate transformation which translates the description from one coordinate system to another coordinate system and uh, the Newton's laws are uh, there are three laws the first law is that uh, in the absence of any force a body will keep moving in a straight line so the equation is x equal to x0 plus ut where u is the velocity of the body now I want to see what happens to this uh, law x equal to x0 plus ut as viewed from primed coordinate system then I have to re-express x in terms of x dash that means x equal to x dash plus vt and uh, then this equation becomes x dash equal to x0 plus u minus v t because uh, x will be here x dash plus v t that means uh, v then will go to the other side that will become x equal to x0 plus u minus v t and u minus v is again a constant so we have uh, again a straight line x equal to x0 plus u minus vt 
What about the second law? Second law deals with the acceleration A. And acceleration um, deals with the second derivative. And um, second derivative, if you take the second derivative of this equation time derivative, then they are all same. This term goes away because this is linear in t. So second derivative is 0. That means d square x dash dt square and this d square x dt square. This is d square y dash dt square. This is d square y dt square. This is d square z dash dt square. This is d square z dt square. That means the force is also same in the two different reference frames. That means to generate equal amount of acceleration we have to give uh, equal amount of force and that is valid in both the frames that means the acceleration which we I am generating here uh, is the same as the acceleration that will be viewed from the unprimed reference frame because it is a double derivative and uh, transformations equations are linear in T so there is no uh, problem that means uh, acceleration is the same in both the frames of reference that means force is also same in both frames of reference and the third is uh, action equal to reaction so we can recast action equal to reaction as uh, action minus reaction equal to zero or uh, in terms of rate of change of momentum we can write uh, rate of change of momentum of the first body minus rate of change of momentum of the second body equal to zero action minus reaction is zero so in terms of rate of change of momentum we can write rate of change of momentum of the first body minus rate of change of momentum of the second body equal to zero that means ddt of the vector sum of the two momenta is zero that means the total momenta uh, that is p1 uh, plus p2 vector sum this is constant so this is conservation of momentum so let us uh, look at here here if I want to get the momentum then I will take the first derivative so momentum in the, the prime coordinate system is uh, not same as the momentum in the unprimed say, system but the difference is a constant because the velocity is constant v, so difference is constant that means the two momenta as seen by two observers one in the prime frame and another in the unprime frame these two momenta will differ by a constant that means if I take uh, sum over momenta the, then uh, in the prime frame I will get a constant and uh, in the unprime frame I will also get a constant but these two constants are not same but still they are constants so that means uh, uh, that leads to conservation of momentum in both prime frame and uh, unprimed frame. That means all the three laws of uh, motion, uh, the first law, the second law and the third law, all three uh, are uh, invariant under the Galilean uh, coordinate transformation. The Newton's, the set of Newton's equations of motion are invariant under a set of coordinate transformations. This is a powerful tool because uh, so that means we have two different observers and these two have a relative velocity, constant relative velocity with each other, but both of them simultaneously agree with the Newton's laws of motion. So I hope that uh, you have uh, enjoyed and liked and appreciated this uh, fact, the invariance of uh, Newton's laws under Galilean transformation. Thank you for watching.